It is very easy to get lost in a question like this. We've got a complicated graph. We have kind of a complicated science passage. And look at these choices. There's a lot of stuff to read there, a lot of places to go back. And one thing about the digital SAT is you can't draw on the graph, right? It's on the screen. So that makes it hard sometimes to kind of follow things. I'll show you what I would do in a case like this, but these are questions that are very difficult to just keep everything under control. So uh, the, the question is pretty straightforward. Which choice most effectively uses data from the graph to complete the statement? So this is basically like there's some main idea that they're gonna get across. So let's see if we can get a dumb version of that main idea that separates the science, separates all the complexity of the graph. So we're focusing first here, and we're gonna see if I can kind of learn anything from this. So step one. In high concentrations, hydrogen sulfide is typically toxic to many plants. Frederick Dooley and colleagues wanted to understand what effects low doses of hydrogen sulfide might have on plant growth. They treated bean, corn, wheat, and pea seeds with various concentrations uh, of hydrogen sulfide and tracked the germination of those seeds along with the germination of untreated seeds. Treatment with particular concentrations of hydrogen sulfide was associated with accelerated germination. For example, okay, so... The thing I take away from this, and I know I just said you can't draw on it, but I'm going to do that for simplicity's sake. Uh, so treatment uh, is associated with accelerated germination. So treatment equals higher growth, something like that, right? I mean, I'm not really doing anything except rephrasing that statement, but you might want to write that on your page, on your scratch paper. Remember, you do get scratch paper for reading. So if you have that written down somewhere in simpler language, you don't have to keep rereading this passage trying to understand what you're looking for. So let's take a look at the choices and let's keep that dumb summary in mind there, okay? So choice A, at 24 hours, less than 10% of seeds treated with hydrogen sulfide at a concentration of 10 micromoles per liter had germinated, whereas more than 90% of those seeds had germinated at 168 hours. Okay, well, we can go and check that, right? So we can check the accuracy and many of you are tempted to do that. But before I do, I'm already kind of skeptical of this choice because it, it's not really saying anything about accelerated growth, right? If, if we're trying to talk about how treatment accelerates growth, I probably want to compare some treated seeds to non-treated seeds, right? And I can tell that the untreated seeds are part of this too. So this is just talking about one type of seed, right? The 10% seeds. So, or I should say better, uh, the 10 micromole seeds. See, it's confusing. So the 10 micromole seeds, if we're just talking about two different points along that same line, that doesn't seem to be telling me that growth has been accelerated, right? That means that there's a comparison. So there's no comparison here. This is just talking about one type of treatment. Hopefully that makes sense because let's compare that with choice B and I think you'll see the difference. At 48 hours, more than 70% of seeds treated with hydrogen sulfide at a concentration of 10 micromoles per liter had germinated, whereas only 50, approximately 50% of untreated seeds had germinated. So again, we can go and test the accuracy of that but for now, I'd rather just treat this like an assembly line and just be like, okay, which choices are comparing a treatment to an untreatment, an untreated seed, right? Like that seems to be what we want if we want to show the accelerated growth. So hopefully now it's more clear why A doesn't do that. It doesn't hit that kind of comparison that the passage wants us to hit. Let's just keep going and see. Uh, choice C, at 168 hours, more than 90% of seeds treated with hydrogen sulfide at concentrations of 10 or 500 micromoles per liter had germinated, whereas less than 70% of untreated seeds had germinated. Okay, well, this is also comparing treatments to the untreated. So let's put it aside for now. Let's keep it, right? It doesn't seem wrong on its face. And then D, at 48 hours, approximately 50% of seeds treated with hydrogen sulfide at a concentration of 10 micromoles per liter had germinated, whereas only approximately 30% of untreated seeds had germinated. So the dumb summary got rid of one choice, but it now we got to look at these numbers and see if anything is uh, true or false there. So uh, let's just start with D because I'm already at the bottom. At 48 hours, approximately 50% of seeds treated with hydrogen sulfide at a concentration of micro, 10 micromoles. Okay, so this is where it gets really hard when I on the digital test. 10 micromoles is the square. So the square at 48 hours is 50. Square 48 hours, that doesn't look like 50, right? So that's what it says, but doesn't look like the right number. So this is false, right? It's, it's, it relates back to the summary that they want from the passage, but in terms of accuracy on the graph, it is a false statement. Some of you like to do that element first, but to me, there's too many numbers. I just got confused. I wanted to deal with the summary of the passage first, but honestly, it's dependent on the question. It's dependent on the person. So do what's easiest for you. But right now, since this is false, it doesn't matter that it's making the right comparison, it's using the wrong data. So let's look at C. At 168 hours, more than 90% of seeds treated with uh, H2S at concentrations of 10 or 500 had germinated. So, okay, 
Uh, let's change color here. I'm going to use green. So uh, 10 or 500, 90%, 168. So 168, uh, 10 or 500 is the triangle and the square. Uh, the triangle does not look like it's at 90, right? That looks less than 90. That looks 80. It's close, but close is not enough, right? Does it say, um, yeah, it does not say approximately 90%. It says more than 90%. So this part seems false to me. Um, let's see about the, uh, the other part though, just for the sake of it, less than 70% of untreated seeds. How's that looking? Well, there's the untreated seeds and that does not look like less than 70% either. That's the circle that looks like about 80, right? So this just seems again, totally false. So let's, let's double check with B. Let's switch to blue. So at 48 hours, 70% of the 10. So 48 hours, 10 is the square. So it's back to here. And yeah, that looks like more than 70. So, okay. That seems good. Check. Um, and whereas only approximately 50% of the untreated seeds. So untreated is the circle. So 50% of the untreated seeds. So that seems true. There you go. It does two things, right? It reflects the data in the graph and it reflects the comparison that was necessary for the paragraph. Uh, just for the sake of it, let's go back to choice A. And is that true? 24 hours, less than 10% uh, for 10. Yeah, uh, that seems good. That's check, okay. Uh, a 90% at 168. Okay, so the square, 168, yeah. So here's the thing, this is, this is good. Here's what they wanted. They wanted you to start by analyzing the accuracy of the choice. They wanted you to be lazy, look at choice A, see that it was accurate, and stop and not read anything else. And then you would have obviously gotten it wrong because yes, those are accurate data points, but it does not get to the comparison that the passage wants from you. So this is a hard question in my opinion, it's just time consuming. There is no shortcut as far as I can tell, but for me, uh, trying to understand the passage here felt like it could have been a shortcut where maybe I'd be like, okay, I don't need to keep looking back and forth with all these numbers and, and lines. I can just maybe focus on the fact that I need to compare treated and untreated seats. I was wrong, but I had a plan. And you know, that's the thing is you got to take a, a guess and not worry about doing the most optimal thing. You just got to start something and hopefully it works out. But sometimes, yeah, you're going to have to do a lot of hard work. Uh, please comment if you have a better way. If there's something you did that was faster, please let me know. But I think these are not very fast questions.